bring those arms up, and bring those arms down. Oh my gosh, those legs are. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back lit because the tree, I put it on this morning, not decorated yet, but feeling festive. I just did Shape of Your Thighs, an old Blogilates video. I still go back to her old videos. Anyways, yeah, I was filming a video yesterday about body moisturizers for winter. But you know, honestly, if you live in a humid climate or maybe it isn't particularly cold, don't feel as though you necessarily need to change up your moisturizer. I said that in my tips for winterizing your skincare routine, like you may not actually need to do anything. But for people who live like in cold places where the heater is on, you know, you may find that your regular lightweight lotions and things are just not enough. So, And simply moisturizing actually can help your skin exfoliate naturally better on its own by increasing the water content in the stratum corneum. It helps barrier repair, healing, and the natural turnover of the skin cells. See, with age and certain dry skin conditions, that gets slow. It kind of heats up, and that's what leads to dry, or rough patches and uneven skin texture. And that has nothing to do with oiliness either. See, people will say, well, I have oily skin. I have oily skin. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. That doesn't really have anything to do with the oil gland. You can still be making a decent amount of sebum oil. Your skin can still look greasy. Stratum corneum can just be dried out. And therein is where moisturizers are really helpful. And it helps you tolerate skincare products better. It reduces the access of irritating things. See, once the barrier is impaired, it loses more water more readily, becomes dehydrated, and irritating things get into the skin even better. And that's why things like products can burn and sting. Now in moisturizers, certain ingredients definitely can burn and sting. For some people it's propylene glycol, for others it's niacinamide, for some it is lactic acid. <laughs> that can burn and sting. For people with eczema, especially moisturizers notoriously can burn and sting. Yeah, so I did a reel recently and a shorts, TikTok, whatever. I'm starting to get all the short form apps confused <laughs> where I posted what. Um, about how, you know, it's a myth that you need to wash off retinol the next morning. As it gets colder, you may want to stop the twice a day face washing. So if you use products, serums, toners, whatever, you know, of course, washing your face, the skin being damp, it does enhance the penetration of the active ingredients. Like I'm going to come in with this PCA skin pigment gel just to dry skin. Sometimes I wash my face in the morning if I feel like it. And then I put this on to damp skin and it enhances the penetration. But this particular product has low molecular weight alcohol in it, which kind of helps it. It's a penetration enhancer. So it's not like you would need to do that per se. You're still going to get good penetration of the kojic acid, azelaic acid, glutathione, now, when it comes to layering products, I find you have to be careful. Obviously, the more stuff you try and layer on your skin, the more likely you are to develop peeling of the products where they clump up, peel off the skin. And that is not pleasant, and they're just not working when that happens. This product in particular, you have to be careful. <clears throat> you don't want to put a big glob. You know, just a thin film is all that you need. If you put too much, I have noticed if I'm a little heavy handed with it, that products do pill. So I'm gonna come in with the Oven Intense Protect. This I have been loving. A few weekends ago, I shared with you guys an Iyer Paul, and I think I may have another one coming today. I'll share it with you guys if, if it gets delivered. But remember from that haul, I decided I was gonna get spirulina, mostly because I like the green color. <laughs> And so <clears throat> I've been enjoying having that. And, but the downside of it is that it gets everywhere when you use it <laughs> and it stains your hands. And I have a little bit of it that's stained the underside of my fingernail. <laughs> so I have to try and figure out how to get that off. It looks gross. It's like, ew, do you have green fingernails? No, it's just the spirulina. Yeah, I try and incorporate sea vegetables into my diet as much as possible. Well, I love dulse. I I could eat on dulse all day. Like I shared with you guys in that eye herb haul, the, what is that, Mango sea vegetables brand of dulse. Oh my God, I could seriously eat a whole bag of that. It is good. 
It's good. It's a good source of iron and um, it also has vitamin C in it. But what I was saying is, so I've been eating sea vegetables for a while, nori, kelp, and I really like them. Dulse has almost like a sweet, salty taste to it. It's not like fishy or anything. And I've never found nori to have like a fishy taste. It's just kind of salty. But the spirulina does have a little bit of a fishy taste to it, I've noticed. But it would be fun for St. Patrick's Day to make mashed potatoes and put the spirulina in, dye them green. Because it really does dye stuff like a vibrant. It's a vibrant green. All right, y'all, I don't know what is on the docket today. I may try and decorate my tree, but don't get your hopes up. I may at least take out my decorations from storage. I mean, I have time, you know, most people haven't decorated yet. I think I'm the only one in my apartment complex who has put up their tree that I can tell. Oh, I need to get some more of this Perform coffee from Poor Siggy. It is so good. I look forward to it every morning. <laughs> I throw it all over the counter. <laughs> so you guys know the saga, my It's All Good mug, rest in peace, busted last, was it last two weekends ago. I can't remember at this point. And I've defaulted back to Mickey, but I kind of want to get some of these. They're like glass mugs that are double walled and insulated. Since I've really been into the tea lattes lately. Although it'll be hard to find one that's big enough for my coffee. Yeah, they always look so pretty when they do like lattes and those glass insulated double walled mugs. So I kind of decided I think I'm gonna get some of those. Anyways, I did pull out my Christmas decorations and it looks like Chaos and Santa Claus had a baby and simultaneously threw up all in one time because my living room, my living room is a mess. I still need to fluff up the tree more. I've been slacking on that. But I got my, I bought these ornaments last year. I think, did I get them at Costco? Probably like in a biggie pack. They're just kind of like filler ornaments for the gaps. And then I have just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I was hoping, I feel like I put all of my ballet ornaments together because I wanna take whatever that is into my bedroom for the ballet tree. Well, hey guys, I decided to come over here to Sprouts, not because I need anything, but because I was kind of thinking they might have some fun holiday beverages and snacks out and one thing they have here, if I think it has, I'm almost certain it has to do with like some sort of flood prevention thing. But when you pull into parking lots of a lot of establishments, especially grocery stores, it's not like the, the entryway into the parking lot is not flat. It's like this accordion. And because of that, unless you're driving an SUV or a truck, you have to go very slowly or else it will, you'll bottom out your car. But people get angry when you turn and start going over it very slowly. But it's like, I'm not gonna be able to speed over this or go over this even the speed limit. I'm, I have to go slowly, like I don't have an option. And I put my turn signal on well in advance, which I guess here is a sign of weakness. I've told you guys that before. But I don't, I don't know what else they want me to do other than I think they're just pissed that I'm having to turn. It's like, if you've ever accidentally gone over a speed bump, not slowing down, you know that experience, amplify that times infinity. It's almost like some sort of skateboarding park apparatus. Have you ever seen those things that people do like skateboarding tricks on? That's what the entry into many parking lots, including this one, is like. So if you go over that in your car at a normal speed, well, you you're asking for trouble unless I guess you have a truck but even so like you could be airborne I don't yeah gourds are on sale five for a dollar we got wood wouldn't you know <laughs> she's on fire <laughs> nice to see hand soap refills 
As opposed to another plastic bottle. These look new. What is this one? Calming for sensitive skin. Mm, lemon peel oil? I think not. Oh, Ceramedics is on sale. Highly recommend these, you guys. You can get them on the herb, too. And they have a lightweight facial moisturizer. It's pretty good, too. So this company approached me a couple of years ago asking you know if I'd be interested in working with them I was like let me try out your products and they sent them to me and I was like mm, no thanks their green juice was not good um, so I declined but let me know have you guys ever had Organifi I feel like the guy they had these commercials on YouTube for a while likewise I tried this amazing grass brand at one point and it was like really bitter Vibrant health. Some seasonal chocolate bars here. Fruit nut medley, frosted gingerbread, and milk chocolate. I have plenty of parchment paper. Ew, celestial seasonings, holiday teas, sweet harvest. I don't care for their green teas. Oh, sugar cookie sleigh ride. I need that. Ginger Snappish, that sounds tempting. Bigelow teas are always really good. Peppermint Bark. Ooh, Milkadamia came out with some holiday seasonal delights. Veg Nog and White Chocolate Peppermint. And of course, Wiz Khalifa has their Coconut Peppermint Mocha drink. So I'm just coming around with some ribbon and just kind of inserting it randomly in the tree to kind of hide the interior. I got this ribbon last year at, of course, Costco. I went ahead and hung this up. <laughs> I keep the hook up all year round. So this is an easy thing to just throw up there, my swag. I got that at Marshalls, I think, or Home Goods. Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross, one of those two years ago. All right, the iHerb order arrived. I got two bags of this textured soy protein. I use this in soups, stews. It's easy, you just rehydrate it in water and then throw it in. And speaking of my love of sea vegetables, I got some more kelp noodles. I love to have these in like salads and stuff. And then I ordered some more of my dulse. And I got some dried fruits for either some baking or snacking or a combination of the two. I got these dried, ap so we got some sun-dried apricots, unsulfured. These, if you have been following me for any number of years, you know I'm a huge fan of mulberries and I haven't had them in a while. And then I got some dried apple slices. I thought those would be good in muffins. Um, I always like making gingerbread around the holidays and I use molasses. And then I ordered some ground nutmeg because I always forget this at the grocery store. And I also ordered some, ground, some dried parsley flakes. And I got two of the Bragg's liquid aminos, one in just a bottle form and the other as a spray form. This is like a, substitute or alternative for um, soy sauce. I don't really know what it is, but it's good. And I got some of my pure plant-based caramel syrup. I like drizzling this on like sweet potatoes. It's delicious. Now from the Amazonian this week, I ordered these and I have them stacked up here. They're meal prep containers that are glass. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these. They have these Snappable lids. The lids themselves are plastic, but this it can go in the oven, microwave, and I like that it's glass. So I got a pack of three of the little ones and then another pack of two of the more casserole sized ones. So I'm happy with the quality of them. They were pretty inexpensive. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower, but I did not shampoo my hair. I decided to go shampoo list. I got this shower cap. I have a ton of shower caps now. Ever since I mentioned that I needed a shower cap, you guys hooked me up. This one is by the brand Shower Cap, I guess. But I like it because the water, like when you get out of the shower, it's so water repellent that it's not wet and not drippy. And for whatever reason, when it's on your head, it doesn't make the 
sound of like raindrops on a tin roof that can be a little like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know. Yeah, I decided to, I've been, I've been doing this a few times a week, not washing my hair, getting it wet in the shower. And it's not my favorite thing. And with the hard water, I'm trying to see if it makes a difference in my hair to not get it wet as much, for lack of a better descriptor. So anyways, yeah, had a great shower. Otherwise, much shorter. Oh, I cannot believe. I mean, I know people say this kind of thing all the time, and it's like, yeah, duh. But time is just going by too quickly. I feel as though, like, November and December, they are, like, 60 seconds, and that's it. <laughs> it's over. It's like, oh, happy new year, and what are you doing for your new year's resolution? That is November and December. <laughs> In a nutshell, it flies by. Fortunately, I got my trees up, plural, and I'm happy that the lights work. So my tree the main one that I have in my living room. I got that a few years ago on Joss and Maine. I don't know if it's still available, but the little one I got last year from the Amazonian. And you know, Amazon can be hit or miss as far as quality, but that one, I mean, it was, it met expectations and the lights still work this second year. So that is way more than I ever expected from a tree from Amazon. The thing about Amazon is like, Sometimes you get it and you're like, what is this? Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.